Hey guys, welcome back to Regenerative Performance. I'm here again with Billy, the robust human, and today we're gonna to look at the shoulder complex and a couple of different things you can do for pain. So we've introduced the NMF flossing in a prior video, so I'm not gonna to go too in depth for it, check that one out on elbow pain. But what I wanna introduce with that is the idea that pain can be caused by um, cutaneous nerves that are not functioning properly. And so one of the things with the NMF flossing is that we can free up those constriction injuries where the cutaneous nerve is piercing through the fascia. And we can, if we can free that up, we calm down neurogenic inflammation, which are essentially just uh, inflammation around a cutaneous nerve or any nerve. And we can calm that down so that way the athlete's not in as much pain. I talk to a lot of athletes who, you know, they don't have any diagnosed tears on any imaging. Um, and they, they don't really have, seem to have any structural problems, but they're still having pain through a certain range of motion, through a movement. And so we want to look at addressing, okay, how are the tissues sliding? Are there any constriction injuries uh, through the nerves? And NMF flossing is one of the ways that we can address that. So we're going to look at Billy's shoulder here today. So <clears throat> again, as we said, wherever you're having the main issue is where you're going to want to put a lot of tension. There's a lot of posterior cutaneous branches off the axillary nerve, which supplies the shoulder that are in the back. So we're gonna focus on the back here today. So I'm gonna start a little bit above the joint, okay? I'm gonna put 50% of my tension through that posterior side, because that's the area we want to affect. It's better to do this one with a shirt on, just because in the armpit region that can, uh, can get pretty painful, you can pinch some skin, so I don't wanna to be too mean to Billy here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Drew, I appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna tack this down, finish it off. And now again, we're gonna go through some of these ranges of motion that we don't normally get into to try and free up some of those areas where you might be constricted. So you're going to external rotation, Right, then we can take it down into internal, keep that shoulder back, take it down into internal rotation. Right, we're trying to just now create more surface for things to slide. Also moving the fascia, tacking down that muscle tissue and really just trying to open everything up. Again, pushing out metabolites, things that build up when we have these injuries or even this chronic pain. All right, so we're taking them into those extreme ranges. Also, if an athlete tells you that they have, you know, problems with the front rack, right? They get here and they have pain in the shoulder, work through that range of motion. Because if they're uh, compressing on some cutaneous nerves in that range of motion, you're gonna want to address that specific range of motion. All right, we'll get this off. All right, move that around, tell us how it feels. Feels good, man. Nice. Got a little more range of motion, it feels like. Awesome. All right, so again, spend a couple minutes doing that and free up um, that shoulder region. Hand goes numb, just stop. And uh, check out Billy, at The Robust Human on Instagram and Twitter. And then check out regenerativeperformance.com. Thanks, guys. See you next time.